Welcome to Facts for Real Videos. The largest hydropower dam in Africa is being built by Ethiopia. This dam, which would have a reservoir more than twice the size of New York City, would increase the nation's existing electricity generation and provide millions of people in the area with clean, renewable energy. Sudan and Egypt, two nearby countries, are not very thrilled about the proposal, though. Egypt declared that they would not tolerate any moves that would reduce Egypt's share of water from the Nile once the dam began to fill. They added that a military confrontation is always an option if tensions get further higher. Therefore, we examine Africa's most contentious megaproject in more detail today to see if the problem can be addressed or if it has the potential to worsen. Ethiopia's present circumstances led to the creation of the designs for this enormous megaproject. After a turbulent and turbulent history marked by civil war and colonialism, Ethiopia has successfully expanded its economy during the last 20 years. Nonetheless, a number of factors, particularly the ongoing civil conflict in the Tigray region, contribute to the dire humanitarian situation that still exists today. Not to mention that one in every two people lacks access to energy. The nation continues to experience power outages and energy shortages, and it is getting more and more difficult to meet the energy demands of an expanding population and economy. Ethiopia's reply. In order to address this persistent issue, the nation is presently allocating billions of dollars towards enhancing its energy industry. Furthermore, this particular project is expected to grow into the biggest hydroelectric power plant that Africa has ever seen. And it is getting more and more difficult to meet the energy demands of an expanding population and economy. Ethiopia's reply. In order to address this persistent issue, the nation is presently allocating billions of dollars towards enhancing its energy industry. Furthermore, this particular project is expected to grow into the biggest hydroelectric power plant that Africa has ever seen. With a height of 145 meters and a length of 1, 780 meters, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is Ethiopia's largest and most ambitious megaproject, with the potential to literally shape the nation's future. The GERD is perched atop the Blue Nile, one of the Nile's principal tributaries that provides around 85% of the water to the Nile downstream. It is located about 10 kilometers from the border with neighboring Sudan. With an estimated $5 billion in costs, the project's work started in 2011. The Ethiopian government struggled to secure little to no outside money for the construction. However, they were still able to cover the project's costs, mostly with the help of bond sales and internal funds. It is anticipated to provide up to 6, 500 megawatts of clean, renewable energy when finished. The nation's current electricity generation is more than doubled by this alone. Ethiopia would be able to sell electricity to nearby nations like Djibouti, Sudan, Uganda, and Kenya if the dam is completed, ending the country's long, standing power shortage. However, Ethiopia needs to take one more vital action before the full potential of the GERD can be utilized. As of right now, construction is about complete, but 74 cubic kilometers of reservoir need to be filled. To put this into perspective, Consider that the reservoir has the capacity to store more water than the Blue Nile receives in a single year. That's why filling the reservoir is a laborious process that might take Ethiopia up to seven years, and it has already taken more than two. The debate that followed. Egypt, meanwhile, is referring to the megaproject as an existential threat since it is located just over 2,000 kilometers downstream from the Gerd Reservoir. For a significant portion of human history, Egypt's literal and symbolic heart has been the Nile River. In contrast to the rest of the arid Sahara Desert, which occupies most of Egypt's territory, more than 95% of the country's population lives within a few kilometers of the Nile in lush, fertile floodplains. More than 95% of the country's population lives within a few kilometers of the Nile in lush, fertile floodplains. With the Nile acting as a key lifeblood, the nation has changed from one of the most developed ancient civilizations in the world to the dominant African nation that it is today. But now, their very survival is in danger due to the very river that has supported them for thousands of years. The notion that Egypt cannot and will not survive without the Nile is an understatement, given that 97% of the freshwater comes from the same source and that each person's annual water share is only 590 cubic meters. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that the Egyptians have serious concerns about the GERD's development and the eventual filling of its reservoir. Egypt and neighboring Sudan which also depends on the Nile's agricultural and commercial potential, run the risk of losing control of it once the dam is completed. For them, the literal control of the tap by a foreign country like Ethiopia poses a threat not only to their political power and status but also to their survival. 
Ethiopia now has to consider precisely when and for how long to open or close the floodgates in order to avoid issues like excessive evaporation and significant floods downstream, thanks to the construction of the new dam. Sudan and Egypt also like to have a say in such choices. When Ethiopia started filling the reservoir in July 2020, tensions between these three nations increased. They proceeded with the first filling despite a lot of objections and calls for trilateral agreements, arguing that it was an inevitable aspect of building the dam and could not be postponed. Egypt's foreign ministry denounced the Ethiopian government in July 2021, charging them with hindering Egypt, Sudan, and the UN's joint attempts to bring the three sides to a mutually agreeable agreement. Ethiopia is also charged by Egypt of breaking a 2015 Declaration of Principles that forbids any signatory from developing projects along the Nile River without first informing the other two. Egypt has repeatedly said throughout this issue that a military intervention is always an option if their demands are not fulfilled and hostilities worsen. However, Ethiopia installed anti-air missile systems around the dam in anticipation of a potential escalation of the conflict. Egypt has repeatedly said throughout this issue that a military intervention is always an option if their demands are not fulfilled and hostilities worsen. However, Ethiopia installed anti-air missile systems around the dam in anticipation of a potential escalation of the conflict. Since August of this year, it appears quite improbable that there will be an armed war. In order for talks to actually start, Egypt and Sudan are now pleading with the UN to step in and serve as a go, between for the three nations. However, since the states concerned are still blaming one another for holding up talks, cooperation still appears to be a long way off. So, is it possible to ease the tensions or not? Though there doesn't seem to be a clear method to resolve the situation between the three parties anytime soon, this doesn't imply it has to remain that way forever. Egypt and Sudan may even benefit from the GERD if the three nations cooperate and treat the Nile as a global resource on which everyone depends. If built correctly, the dam can stop catastrophic flooding which is a common issue in the countries downstream. Additionally, the dam might control how water is sent downstream, protecting the dams that are owned by Egypt and Sudan inside their boundaries. And lastly, the energy produced may be of great use to the entire area. How do you feel about GERD? Can Sudan, Ethiopia, and Egypt come to an agreement on this? Or will talks carry on for a long time to come? Tell us in the comments section below. Please remember to like and subscribe to Facts for Real videos if you liked it. We appreciate your time, and we hope to see you again soon. We appreciate your time, and we hope to see you again soon.